Welcome back everybody, my name is Alan Anthony, also known as the little birdie that could, back at it again, with another catching fruit tutorial video. Today, we're playing Fruits of a Feather, a game where you're a bird, and your job, your goal, your goal and your job, woo, is to fly around this beautiful landscape and get yourself some fruit. That's, that's, that's going to be your main priority while playing this game, and it's really just about relaxing and enjoying the atmosphere, so I might not do a whole lot of talking. <coughs> I'm sorry, I sneezed. I thought about playing this game for a long time. I've been a little stressed out recently. And uh, I saw this game. Ooh, uh oh, let's hope I'm not too stuck. There we go. And I saw this game a while ago and I wanted to play it. And I've been pretty stressed out recently, so I decided there's absolutely no harm in just making a video of me playing this game and relaxing. And if you're watching this video and you're at home, you know, you can just. Feel free to leave this open in another tab or on your other monitor. Just kind of hang out with me for a little while. There's a whole lot of fruit on this island, like a lot. There's uh, 168 to be exact. 168 is an interesting number to go with, uh, but I respect it. I'm not quite sure how vast this landscape is. I actually didn't really practice this at all. I'm kind of learning it along with you guys. I'm very good at missing these fruit. My only concern is I don't want the little birdie to crash. He's very important to me. There we go. Yes, we got one. I did a lot of running today and I'm, I've been very tired. It's Uploading two videos a day or Really, it going towards any passion or anything that you might want to do can be really, really hard sometimes. And sometimes it's just good to know that you can just relax and not stress about it too much. I wanted to make something that was really, really. No, oh, I just flew right past the fruit. I want to make something that was, I don't know, calming. I guess it's the right word. Uh oh, I want to hit the bush. Something simple. I'm constantly trying to be funny and entertain and think of something to say every couple of seconds. That's pretty much my job at this point, at least my hobby of a job. And this game sort of goes against that theory. I mean, there's not a whole lot going on. There's not a whole lot to talk about except me and how I'm feeling and. That's nice. That's nice. Damn, ten already. We're one, about one seventeenth of the way there. I feel like this isn't a game. Judging by the amount of fruit there are, I feel like this isn't a game. Ooh, we're going really fast now. This isn't a game anybody should really strive to complete. If that makes sense, like. If you come into this game expecting to find all 168, I feel like you'd just be spending a lot of time looking for the fruit when you really should just be looking at the the bushes and the trees and the, the bird, the feathers on the back of that bird. You see the way they move. It's gorgeous. This is a very feel-good song. It reminds me of when I played uh, Life is Strange. That game uh, had a whole lot of really calming music in it. A lot of it was not calming, but when it when when it slowed down, like this game is, it really shined. While you're watching this video, if you 
wouldn't mind scrolling down and uh, leaving a comment. I promise I'll respond to you. Ooh, hit the ground. It's alright though, our bird's all good. Man, I really needed this video right now. I hope in the future, if I'm ever worried about what game to play this this day or that day, you know, what I should do with my editing, or whether or not I should have face cam in my videos, I can just go back and look at this video and remember that sometimes it just doesn't matter that much. I feel like games are about connecting to people, and that's why Let's Play content is so popular, you know? In single player games, you often find yourself connecting with characters, as if you were reading a book or watching a movie, and, well, in multiplayer games, we know you definitely connect with a lot of people. Let's Play, as I feel, take the step of connection a little bit further. You really get to just talk to people, you know? When you're making them, you get to talk to people, I suppose. If you're watching them, you get to you get to hear people's thoughts and how they think and react to certain things. I think that's really cool. Always have. And actually, when I was in fifth grade, I watched my first Let's Play it was by a by a guy named Ant Dude. That's what he called himself. I think he called himself Sonic Dude back then. I watched him play Paper Mario. And it was, I enjoyed watching it so much. It was it was ridiculous. Like I, I I feel like a lot of kids these days feel the way I felt about Let's Plays back then. And back then, not a whole lot of people were so so interested in the format. But I really really enjoyed it. As years went by, I watched more and more less players like Nintendo Capri Sun, Chuck Conroy. Uh, a couple more years passed, and then started seeing people like Markiplier and Jack Septic got to come up. And their content really meant a lot to me. And, I... and through watching people like uh, Casey Neistat and Gary Vaynerchuk, I, I sort of became inspired to really, really, really want to try to make good content. I first time I ever made a Let's Play was a little bit before that, though. It was I was in it was freshman year of high school. I made a Let's Play of Animal Crossing and also a Let's Play of uh, uh, Faster Than Light. Uh, both of those series I didn't complete. And the videos in them, looking back on them, didn't have a whole lot of quality, but man, I, I don't know how far I would have made it doing any of really any of my passions if I didn't really have that video to go and look back on, really the five or six videos, to look back on and remember that every time I make a video, every time I make anything and upload it to the internet or save it in a scrapbook or, you know, just keep it, that I can look back on it and it's just a little something that's different. It's a lot to me. It's 2016 right now, and I'm really curious as to what the future is going to hold for me. I hope it's entertaining people, though. That's that's what I really want to do. I don't know how many people watching this have tried to make videos themselves, but uh, it's, it's, whoa, ooh. I have to swing back around, sorry, I just found a little bundle of fruits, I'm a little excited. Uh, I don't know if anybody who's watching this has tried to make videos themselves, but I gotta say, it's, it is quite nice to be able to not, 
to be able to feel like I can pause, you know? Let's see. Ooh. Oh yeah, I gotta take off. I'm trying to just... I kind of wish my little birdie could walk a little bit. Ah, oh, yes, now that was a good dive. I suppose it's kind of nice that the birdie can't walk, though, because that makes me... That makes me have to try a little bit harder to get the to pick up the fruits. Makes it a little bit more special when you hit one. I ran about two miles today, and I'm really proud of myself for that. I was, uh... I went about a mile and then I saw this bench and next to it there was this little box that had books in it. I, uh, I hadn't seen anything quite like that before except in a park in downtown Atlanta. I, uh, I actually sat, I was tired, mind you, I was very, very tired. I had been running for, uh, like I said, a mile and I stopped and I sat down and I picked up a book. It was about a... Uh, it was about the things that humanity had discovered over the past 500,000 years. It was really long, actually. I didn't read near the whole thing. I just read about the first three pages and then started skimming. It was mostly pictures um, with captions beneath them. And um, it was it was really, I don't know, there was something about it. I think the thing that hit me the most with that book was when I hit the end of it. When I reached the end of the book, because um, I flipped to the last page, it uh, the last entry was of something that happened in 1984, and it said this book was published. And I, I realized after reading through so much of the book and so many of the discoveries that even though that book covered 500,000 years of, of actually a lot of details about history, so much had happened in the past 30 years that wasn't reflected in that book. Oh no, pretty stuck. There we go. I didn't even... It's just so much has happened in the past 30 years, and I've only been around for about 19 of it. It's my birthday tomorrow, actually. Today is September 3rd. I was born on September 4th, 1997. Ooh, it, it feels really good to fly by and grab like four or five fruit at a time. I don't know, that book made me think. I got up and ran home and I was really, really tired by the time I got here, so I took a shower and decided it was time to record something. And I was very sore, so I thought maybe I'd make something like this, something a little different from what I normally do. I hope the audio on this video comes out well. I, um, my pop filter fell off earlier this morning when I was trying to pull it out to record earlier. I got frustrated and stopped recording because I didn't have my pop filter. I wasn't able to get it back on, so I, I don't have it right now. Might accentuate my slight lisp a little bit. Ooh see a fruit. I feel like I'm habitually just flying in circles around the island when I should probably fly inwards a little bit. There we go. Get away from the get away from the beach. Have you ever thought of what it would be like to be a bird? I've thought about it a whole lot. Laying in bed at night with my fan on because my room's overheated. Flying. Flying my mind, of course. I really like travel, and I hope I get to do a lot of travel in the future. So I really wouldn't say envy necessarily birds, but I uh, sure would like to share some of their experiences someday. I've never been on an airplane. I don't. I don't know what it's like to soar that high in the sky. Ooh. 
just going back and get that fruit. I think videos like this are going to become a thing on my channel. Just a playlist of... Oh, no. <laughs> just a playlist of relaxing games. A playlist of games you can put on as you're going to sleep. Uh, Sometimes maybe just something I can put on when I'm feeling, feeling stressed. How about we get to 60 fruit and then call it a video? I think that, that would be good. If I can, if I can find that many pretty soon. Who knows? There's another one over up on the hill there. I haven't seen the one before. Ooh, and up on the mountain I see in the corner of my eye. I like the ones that are hanging from the trees, they're easy to get. Some of the fruit look different than the other than like some of the other ones. Didn't really realize that before. I was very engrossed in the whole atmosphere and everything. Some of the details eluded me. Ooh. Got a bug so fast. I'm going to pick up this fruit right here, and then swing back and get that one I missed. If you're watching this video closely, you have probably noticed a lot of fruit that have just slipped past my vision that I didn't notice. And I apologize for that. If that stressed you out at all? I hope it didn't. Stress is such an aggressive force. A lot of people say it's important, but... Sometimes it's nice to just not have any. And sometimes I go weeks... ...without feeling that, you know? Why did I... why did I hit W? I assume every, since we're going to 60, I assume every single failure is a little bit more time I'm spending with you in this video, so of course I don't mind missing. Well, would you look at that? Bam, 60. With 108 more fruit to go that I haven't showcased in this video, I'm not going to catch you I'm gonna fly out to sea. <laughs> um, with 108 more fruit that I have not shown in this video, I feel like there's a lot of value in this game. If you would like to download it for yourself, there's a link in the description. And like I said earlier, you can uh, comment below. I promise I'll respond to you. And uh, yeah, my name is Alan Anthony, also known as Pineapple Swiss. I uh, This show is the Pineapple Players. I really hope that you might be interested in sticking around for another video of mine. But until then, uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video.